What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be solving a programming question called Valid Palindrome. This is considered an easy question and the problem description goes like this. Given a string, determine if it is a palindrome, considering only alphanumeric characters and ignoring cases. Note, for the purpose of this problem, we define empty string as valid palindrome. So a palindrome is just a string that reads the same from left to right and from right to left. Here we have two examples. In the first example, the input is a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. That reads the same from left to right and from right to left. It also reads a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. So that is a valid palindrome, so the output is true. And in the second example, the input is race a car. And race a car read from right to left is not race a car, so the output is false because that is not a valid palindrome. To check and see if the string is a valid palindrome, we're going to get rid of all of the non-alphanumeric characters and replace it with an empty string. So for example, if there is a comma, a colon, or an empty space, we're going to replace it with just an empty string because those characters don't count in the palindrome. And then it doesn't matter if the string, if the character in the string is a capital case or a lowercase letter, we'll just turn it all into lowercase letters so that we can compare it without having to worry about the case. And then after that, we take that string that we just converted and we store it into a variable and we also uh, reverse the string and uh, store it in another variable and we'll compare those two strings and see if they are equal to each other. And if they're equal to each other, then that means that it is a valid palindrome. And if not, that means it's not a valid palindrome because it won't read the same from right to left. So that's how we'll approach this problem. Now let's write this problem out in Python code. Uh, the first thing I am going to do is import a regular expression so that I can check and see if the string is an alphanumeric character. Um, so I'm going to set S to S with all of the non-alphanumeric characters replaced with an empty string. And then I'm also going to let, set it to lowercase. So s equals s dot lower. And after that, I will reverse that string and I'll set it to reversed s. And it'll be reverse. It'll be s with double colon. I'll slice it. And, uh, I'll read it from right to left. So now I'm going to just return s is equal to reverse s. Because if they're equal to each other, then that means it's a palindrome and it'll return true. But if it's not, it'll return false and that'll mean that it's not a palindrome. So I'll try to run that code. And it looks like that input is true. And let me try and submit it. So a man, a plan, a canal, Panama is a valid palindrome. And it succeeded. It's faster than 99.4% of Python online submissions for a valid palindrome. It was really easy. This was a question where we just have to reverse the string and see if uh, it was equal to the original string. Uh, only that I had to take away the non-alphanumeric characters and I had to set the string to lowercase. You could also set it to uppercase. It doesn't really matter because the case is case insensitive. So it's not case sensitive. So that's it. We used a regular expression to find the characters that we didn't need, replace those characters, and then we used uh, Python's slicing method to slice the string and reverse it. And then we just compared the two strings and see if they were equal to each other so that we can tell if it's a valid palindrome or not, and that's how we solved the problem. If you like this approach, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.